Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the Sacramento River Cats and the Tacoma Rainiers. So striding forward now, Abiatel Avellino. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Liner towards second. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. In now, Austin Slater. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Slater. Swing and a line drive. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Avellino rounds the corner and is headed home. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. At the plate now, Gilmer Sanchez. Here's a looping fly ball out to right, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. At the Chris Shaw fouled off. And that's going to be high two and two now. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Next will be the designated hitter, Jalen Davis. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. Lays off the fastball low, and it goes to two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the running play. Two down. Settling in now, Zach Green. He carries a batting line in the 280s to Zach begin this one. Green. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Late Sam Haggerty. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1. Line towards center field. And Rickards got it. There's one away. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Braden Bishop. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. The one two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate Jose Marmolejos. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Rickards under it. And that ends the inning. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. He's picked up three hits in the series and driven in four along the way. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Heading out towards shallow right, Rodriguez is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Zach Houchins. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Set to deliver on two and one. 
Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Stepping in, Taylor Heineman. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1 1 home. Two out, nobody on. Now a slider can't make it back to that outside edge, and that takes the count to two and two now. Tried to work in the backdoor break. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Patrick Wisdom. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he fouls this one off. Now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Heading after it is Rickard, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping into the box, Julio Rodriguez. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. In for strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Hit sharply on the ground. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. The third baseman. Stepping in now, Jake Shiner. Soft grounder left side. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Standing in now, Alan Hansen pulled high in the air out to left field. Shaw will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Digging in, Joe Hudson. Number 57. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Sanchez is calling for it, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. Coming to the plate now, Abiatel Avellino. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Hit hard to short, right to him. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now with the play, the Austin team. Slater. Austin. Slater. The 2-1. Grounder down the line at third. Throw gets him, two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And moving into the batter's box next will be Yomer Sanchez. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Now batter. To the plate now, Chris Shaw. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Sanchez isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Safe at the plate. As it's now a 3-0 ball game. Now batter. So now to the plate. Jalen Davis. Two and one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go.
Here now the 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Shaw at second with two down. And he lays Thank off, you. so it's full now, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And this one bounds around against the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. The first baseman, Zach. And now, Zach Green. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Ready now, Donnie Walton. He's two for seven in the series so far. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now batter, the left fielder, Ben Haggerty. Into the box now, Sam Haggerty. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. This is popped up. Green waits on it, makes the play one away. Plate. Braden Bishop so far 0 for 1 with a fly out. Runners on first with one down. And this one's high and tight backing him up 2 and 1. Well we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 3 and 1 to him now. Hitters count all the way, and here it comes. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, first baseman, Lopez. Stepping in now, Jose Marmolejos. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. In at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now battle, number 22. Into the box, Patrick Wisdom struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from now third. Standing in, Julio Rodriguez. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Shaw is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So striding in, Joey Rickard, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 2 it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the, the same way he ended the, the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. The 1 2. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. And that's the second out. 
Digging in the switch hitter, Taylor Heineman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 4 to 1 our score as we play inning number 4. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's 1 and 2. That misses and we're even at 2 and 2. Hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Jake Shiner. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Shaw comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. So stepping in, Alan Hensel. He flew out in his last at bat. The one two. Popped him up. Heineman shading to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now to the plate, Joe Hudson. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And another foul ball. Now another 1 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Striding in once again, Abiatel Avellino. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit high and deep out to left field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall yeah, for the first down. The right field. So coming to the plate, Austin Slater. He's one for two with an RBI double back in the first inning of this one. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Slater is retired. Two down now. Ready for another chance. Yomer Sanchez. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Now the payoff pitch home. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Bottom of the inning now, digging in for his second at bat, Donnie Walton. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Here's the pitch on two and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Sam Haggerty. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Now the payoff pitch home. Runners on the move for second, and it's fouled away. Now a throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Ball. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now back. Digging in now, Jose Marmolejos. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. 1-1. One, one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 to one ball game. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. Get dirty, but he's back in safely. Oh, 
Here now the 2 2. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Mark Warren Warren takes over to start the sixth now, inning on the mound. Number 43. Into the box now, Chris Shaw, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. And Haggerty's there to make the catch. There's one gone. Striding now forward back. now is the DH. Jalen Davis, Jaylen. one for two Davis. in the ball game thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Hit weakly back to the mound. And there are two away now. Digging in, Zach Green. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And that misses, two and one. Hard hit ball to short. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. At the plate, Joey Rickard. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled away. The next three, two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. The next 3 2. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Sixth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder, and this one scoots all the way to the wall. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Now that. Third base, Zach Houchins. Standing in now, Zach Houchins. Hit hard, but foul. Here's another one-two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two-and-two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And Haggerty's under it to make the play and retire the side. So here's the cleanup hitter, Patrick Wisdom. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Digging in to try it again, Julio Rodriguez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Fouled off. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. At the plate now, Jake Shiner in for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. 
I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Nope. Just off the inside corner, taken for a ball. Too high, ball three. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. A curveball hit right back at him. The second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Jerson Bautista will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 43. Standing in, Taylor Heineman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 1 1 home. Oh, that's too high. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Two one pitches, a fastball off the plate away, and it's 3 and 1 now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order. Mm. So now to the plate, Abiatel Avellino. He's right there. There's one. On to first, a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Austin Slater. Fastball called strike, one and two. Bautista is a guy that you'll notice attacks hitters with a high-velocity slider. Not the old sweeper. He really fires it in there and snaps off big numbers. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Ready with another 2 2. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The batter number two, second base, Yomer. Stepping in now, Yomer Sanchez lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Left side, but well fouled. He'll try again, one, two. Now a hard liner towards short. And nothing will come with a two out double as the inning is over. Trevor got hits the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. In now, Alan Henson. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here. You would stride to the plate for this A.B. trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your back plane on the same path of the ball. Can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Slater is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Ready for another shot now. Donnie Walton. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Cody Anderson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 16, Cody. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Chris Shaw. He's one for two in this one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And Haggerty's there to make the catch. There's one gone. 
digging in now once back. again, Jalen Davis. Davis. He was a ground out victim last time up. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now back the first base. Back to the plate now. Zach Green. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now battle. The center fielder. Joey Rickard. In now, Joey Rickard. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Here's the 2 2. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2 and 2. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw will get him for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. Riding into the box, Zach now Houchins, back. runner in scoring position with Sudan. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he fouls this one off. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now back. Digging in and looking for more, Taylor Heineman and their runners at the corners now. Looking to minimize the damage here. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So the lineup flips over and digging in Sam Haggerty. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Clears this one over toward first. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Ready once again, Braden Bishop. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality AB. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Runner at first here, one man out. Fastball just missed above the zone. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Avellino ranges back, and he has it for route number two. How about it? Next will be the cleanup hitter, Patrick Wisdom. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Jerry Blevins enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 39, Jerry Blevins. Into the box, Julio Rodriguez. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it's a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Thank you. 
you know you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count with the three run lead no one on base this is the perfect situation to do it no reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning another payoff pitch Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Dan Altavia enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now at the plate, Abiatel Avellino. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And here's the 3-2 from him. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Another full count pitch home. Liner towards second. Throw on to first for the out. And that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And it's a full count, three and two to Austin Slater. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Into the box now, Yomer Sanchez. Nipped the corner, two and two. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Number Chris three. Shaw, the next to take a turn at the plate. He's working on a one for three thus far. And it's fouled away. The one two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Here now the two two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Haggerty is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, Jake Shiner. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Popped him up. Heinemann is there. One down. Alan Hansen the next to bat. No hits to this point. Now the one and one pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's a high pop up. Sanchez over to his right. Two gone. Striding in, Joe Hudson. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Line drive to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now that is the second baseman. Johnny Walker. Standing in now, Donnie Walton. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this one onto the bag at first, and that will conclude matters here as the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Sacramento Rivercats jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Andrew Suarez wins his third of the season. Jerry Blevins records four outs on his way to the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious River Cats. Seven runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Rainiers, three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home.